What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andre and today I'm gonna to be doing an update on NEO stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news and I will show you the latest news directly related uh, to the listing of Chinese companies from US stock exchanges and I will show you what will be the solution of this problem. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Mumu valued up to $7,000, please check out that link in the description below. All you have to do is sign up for an account and deposit as little as $1. This is guaranteed free money. Full details you can see on the screen right now. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this point uh, and I've told you that we have to have at least one more leg to the downside and we should hit uh, the golden pocket range. And let me mark uh, this range a little bit longer. As you can see, we hit exactly this range and had a bounce and uh, it acts exactly as I predicted. And the bounce was for about uh, 7%. And uh, then we had this decrease in price of NIO. And as you can see right here, only Chinese uh, companies, Baba and NIO in this list are in green. And uh, definitely we have a harsh time for now for the markets. And uh, despite of this, NIO is showing very good strength according to its price action. So what should we expect next? I will show you in my technical analysis. But for now, let's continue with the fundamental news. And uh, definitely we have a red day on the market. And the, this red day is uh, quite massive, I have to say. All of the indexes are in red. S&P 500 lost about 2.77%. Dow Jones lost about 2.82%. Uh, Nasdaq lost about 2.55%. Uh, and Russell 2000 lost also 2.55%. And uh, this uh, massive uh, sell-off is one of the biggest. And the main reason of this sell-off is definitely the upcoming interest rate hikes. And uh, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell affirmed uh, the central bank's uh, determination to bring down inflation and uh, said Thursday that aggressive rate hikes are possible as soon as next month. It's uh, appropriate uh, in my view to be moving a little more quickly to rise interest rates, Powell said, while part of an international monetary fund panel moderated by CNBC's Sarah Eisen. I also think uh, there is something to be said for front-end leading and accommodation one thinks uh, is appropriate. I would say 50 basis points uh, will be on the table for the May meeting. And uh, I have to say that uh, it is not uh, the only suggestion, because uh, some of uh, Federal Reserve's members told that uh, they want to rise interest rates uh, by 75 basis points. And I have to say that because of this uncertainty, we will see this uh, massive volatility on the markets until the Federal Reserve meeting happens. And it will take place on May 3rd and 4th. But for now, let's uh, continue with the news directly related to Chinese companies. And first of all, let me show you this one. This news is published on uh, cnvpost.com and it's titled 17 firms, including Li Auto, added to SEC list for possible delisting. And uh, these companies have until May 12th to provide evidence uh, to the SEC that they are not eligible for the listing. And uh, definitely they won't provide this information because it is against the Chinese rules. And uh, let me show you right here, uh, Li Auto responds uh, to being placed on SEC's uh, list for possible delisting. And uh, let me quote to this. Li Auto said that inclusion on the list is not equivalent to delisting from the US uh, and that it will not have any impact on the company's actual business operations. Being included on the list is not the same as being delisted from the US and the company can only be restricted from trading in the US stock market if it has failed to open its audit papers to the US for three consecutive years, Li Otto said in a statement. We have been actively seeking a solution as a responsible company to our investors and are actively cooperating with audit paper related efforts in accordance with the domestic and international regulatory requirements, the company said. And definitely it might be bad news for Chinese stocks that are listed on US stock exchange. But uh, on a bigger picture, these companies have at least three years to comply with these uh, rules. And why I am talking about Li Otto? And I have to say that SEC included Li Auto in this list. And let me show you the other companies in this list. And uh, there are plenty of them. Uh, and uh, because uh, Li Auto is right here, we also might see the NEO company in this list as well. 
and definitely it might be the negative catalyst for NIO. But for now, every Chinese company that is listed on the UX stock exchange might be in this list as well. And let me show you the progress of negotiation between CSRC and the SEC. And let me show you this uh, news. Uh, it says, CSRC official says uncertainty over audit issues uh, for Chinese firms will soon be removed. And uh, let me quote you this. China will allow the PCAOB to conduct its review legally and responsibly, and uh, this uncertainty is believed to be removed soon, said Feng Xinghai, vice chairman of the CSRC. The dialogue between the China Securities Regulatory Commission and the US regulators is going very well with the video talk once a week to gradually get uh, the details down, said Feng Xinghai, vice chairman of the CSRC, adding that he is confident uh, of reaching an agreement in the future. And China will allow the US Public Company Accounting Oversight Board to conduct its review legally and responsibly, and this uncertainty is believed to be removed soon, he said. And I have to say that uh, because of these efforts and because of uh, this news that uh, CSRC official and CSRC vice chairman told this, I think uh, we might see some kind of uh, deal between SEC and CSRC. And definitely it will be a major sign for Chinese companies that these companies will remain on uh, US stock exchanges. And I have to say it is important for both sides. So. And uh, let's continue with this news directly related to NIO. On uh, April 22nd we have this article and it's titled Guasan Securities initiates coverage on NIO with overweight rating. The analyst expects NIO to post a net loss of 7.3 billion yuan this year, a loss of RMB 4.4 billion next year and the profit of RMB 800 million in 2024. So, in a matter of two years, according to this in analyst, uh, NIO will be profitable. And let me show you that uh, the analyst gave NIO an overweight rating, but did not offer a price target. So, it is what it is. And let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, as I already mentioned, uh, I nailed this movement to the downside, to this uh, range of golden pocket, and it is the most probable range of trend reversal if you pull the Fibonacci retracement tool from this low to this high. And I have to say that with this movement we completed all five waves, this means we have to have this retracement. And uh, this is the most probable range of trend reversal as I already mentioned, but it doesn't guarantee that we might have next leg to the upside that exceed all of our previous swing highs. This means we have to be cautious, but in my opinion, it is a very good range where you can accumulate your position as an investor. And if you want to swing trade this asset, just wait until you will see higher highs and higher lows on a lower time frame. And when we will have this, on the retracement you might enter your long position, but your stop loss should be below previous swing low. And what are the targets? I have to say that the targets are the same. First target is right here at $24.3 and second target is right here at $26.2. And uh, when this asset will exceed these two levels, definitely it will establish higher highs and higher lows on a higher time frame. And this means it will be a major signal for a lot of institutional investors to enter their position. And we have to be prepared for this. So, I think from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye!